This is for the advertising and marketing director over at Bumble, the dating app. A Bumble counter days. You really have billboards all over the city talking about a vow of celibacy is not the answer. So what is the answer? Give it up to raggedy, undeserving men? So now we have all of this pressure from the news media, from society, from the patriarchy, from every direction telling us, just give it up. Stop fighting. Give the men what they want. And y'all are doing it too? At two, Bumble? Y'all are just as raggedy as the men you're trying to shove down these women's throats. Bumble has been in hot water this past month or so because of a string of bad decisions, starting with their rebrand that was meant to revolutionize dating and ending with these. <laughs> no! No! If you didn't already know, Bumble isn't like other dating apps. It is unique for being a feminist type dating app where ladies would first initiate conversations. So if a lady sees a guy that she likes, she would be the one to make the first move. This is supposed to make them feel more in control of things and also prevent spamming from weirdo men. On the surface, it's noble if ladies want to feel safe and decide by themselves. On the other hand, well, that's the side I want to touch on in this video. But before we dive in, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss another episode of a Nigerian Take With Theo. And whilst you're at it, like and share this video. Yes, so back to the rebranding. I'm going to summarize because it's quite relevant to my message, but if you're someone who already saw all this unfold, feel free to skip ahead about a minute or so. They released the weird and now deleted app ad showcasing a girl going to join a convent after a disappointing date in life. Then one of the nuns recommended Bumble to her, so she left there looking happy and no longer looking to join the nuns. Although I don't use Bumble, I did get to see the ad when the backlash started and like most people, I was genuinely confused at first. I mean, I get that they were advertising their product and the young lady needed help finding a man, but why use a convent at all? Anyway, my confusion was out the window the moment they followed up with a series of billboards with interesting quotes. A vow of celibacy is not the answer. Thou shalt not give up on dating and become a nun. You know full well a vow of celibacy is not the answer. <laughs> Whew, these really escalated the situation because ladies were pissed. You really have billboards all over the city talking about a vow of celibacy is not the answer? So what is the answer? Give it up to raggedy, undeserving men? Are you not aware that you can be a woman who dates males and is still celibate? It's grossly condescending and patronizing. Basically, there was much drama and they had to take it down and issue an apology. So I want to focus on a larger problem here. Feminism in modern dating. Bumble took a wrong approach to sell a rebrand, but might I say that their app itself has always been wrong? Women making the first move? <laughs> Come on, that's about the dumbest thing you can put forward to a woman looking for a partner. And clearly on the back end, this didn't work out too well because the so-called rebrand was actually to have a robot help women make the first move with automated messaging and then have men make the real first move. I understand they were trying to highlight the current frustration for women in the dating market and send a message about not quitting, but how do you solve a problem you're a part of without first acknowledging that the values and ideologies you present are in the best? You have yet to understand your target audience, but you think you can help them somehow? This video is not really about Bumble, but about everyone and everything out there that keeps pushing these ideologies that are so harmful to a woman's well-being in a relationship. Inherently, the idea of being a boss bee and women taking control is a good one, but sadly, the way this message has been sold is just so off the mark, and it's slightly frustrating to watch women constantly slam straight into walls. Taking control doesn't involve asking a man out. It looks more like presenting yourself in a dignified way so that you can attract a deserving man. Being a busby doesn't mean climbing up the corporate ladder or being individualistic and too inflexible to let a man in. It should 
look instead like having just the right ingredients in the right proportions to become a person of value yourself and bring that value into the lives of a husband and kids and your community. And very importantly, being flexible enough to adapt to the needs of the aforementioned entities and with great discernment too. I don't need no man is not boss B energy, it's loser energy. So why are women frustrated? We've already established that they don't <laughs> want to make the first move. <laughs> Shocker. But also, here's the part feminists don't like to admit, or maybe it just hasn't occurred to them yet. The empowered woman dating model has its merits, but one of the demerits is how it fails mid-looking and unattractive ladies. Aha! We're getting in deep now. It's already bad enough that you do need looks to be considered on these dating apps, unlike in real life, when people are softer towards you based on having real conversations. Pretty girls will no doubt have no problem getting male attention. That is a different topic altogether. But what happens to us regular looking folk, male and female alike? Focusing on female only now, there's this illusion of having more control as a woman. But since the dating landscape changed to incentivize hookup culture and men are no longer thinking about marriage and commitment, that is all it is. An illusion. Chasing a man in most cases makes you appear less in their eyes. Another discussion I wish I could elaborate on, but perhaps in another video. Although I actually did see a perfect example of this online recently and I'll be sharing it with you in my next video. So make sure you turn on notifications right now so you don't miss that episode. Trust me, you don't want to miss that one. Now back to the topic. Unfortunately, you make it much easier for f boys to blow through vulnerable ladies who are actually looking for love because now the ladies are thinking of all that empowerment they have so they either intentionally or subconsciously use sex as a means to keep the, a man. I'm not saying all women do this of course I'm just saying it's something that does happen. Okay what I'm trying to communicate might be a bit unclear so let's tie it all together in simpler terms. Meet girls and unattractive girls are more likely to pursue an attractive guy that they want who doesn't reciprocate that affection, especially as younger women, or maybe older when they really want a commitment but are not getting it. So this particular viewpoint of women making the first move on men just makes it possible for men, and by men I mean boys, to exploit these types of women and then go after the women they really want. Talking stage culture and hookup culture only makes this dynamic even worse because those women will likely regret having sexual relations with a man who is just a user. Then you have baby mamas, baby mamas, multiple girlfriends and all of that nonsense. It is in no way empowering but actually degrading to women and only men stand to benefit from it. If a man is not going after you, he is either not interested or ready for a relationship or He's just not that into you. So again, making the first move 90% of the time will end in tears for the woman. It's a design that caters for f boys and users. How about that, Bumble? See, eh? Believing you as a woman can approach dating like a man can or vice versa is the first step to a long line of heartbreak. My name is Dio. Thank you for watching guys i can't wait to share the story in my next video with you i hope you've turned on notifications and leave a comment on this video i will see you soon bye bye